Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the transportation in plants. So we will discuss about the two things main. First is the transportation of water and the second is the transportation of food and other substances in plants. So first we will discuss about the transport of water. Okay, so how water gets transported in plants that we will discuss now. Okay, so in xylem tissue in plants, in xylem tissue, vessel and trachoids of the roots, vessels and trachoids of the roots. stems and leaves are interconnected to form a continuous system of water conducting channels water conducting channels reaching all part of the plant okay so but at the roots at the roots cells in contact with the soil the cells that are in contact with the soil cells that are in contact with the soil actively take up ions actively take up the ions from the soil these create a difference in the concentration of A difference in the concentration of these ions between the root and the soil. Okay, so water, therefore, water. Therefore, moves into the root, move into the root from the soil to eliminate the dif this difference from the soil to eliminate this difference. So this means that there is steady movement of water into the root xylem. Okay, so what happens student is like I am drawing here a tree. Okay, so it is a tree and having its roots in the stone. So from the soil, the water gets transferred to the roots. So this pressure by itself is unlikely to be enough to move water over the heights. So what happens that the water that is steadily pushed upwards because of the difference of the ions. So the pressure to move the water upward is unlikely to be enough to move water up to the leaves. So plants use another strategy to move water in the xylem upward to the highest point of the plant body. So what they use is provided that the plant has an adequate supply of water, the water which is lost through the stomata is replaced by water from the xylem vessels in the leaf. Water vapor here. Okay. In fact, evaporation of water molecule from the cell of a leaf creates a suction which pulls the water from the xylem cell. Means the evaporation of the cell creates a vacuum type uh, vacuum here 
and which pulls the water from the xylem so that is how the water gets transported to the leaves okay so this is this pressure to pull the water upwards plus the vacuum creates in the leaves make the water sufficient enough to carry to the leaves so this is all about the transport of water now let's discuss about how transport of food and other substances takes place let's discuss about the transport of food and other substances so so far we have discussed about the transport of water and minerals in plants now let us consider the product of metabolic processes particularly photosynthesis okay are moved from the leaves so let me draw the tree again so this is the structure of a tree tree the photosynthesis are moved from the leaves where they are formed to together to other parts of the plant so this transport of this transport of photosynthesis of soluble products of photosynthesis is called as translocation trans location okay means the location is changing here and it occurs in the part of the vascular tissue known as vascular tissue known as phlegm p h l o e m okay phlegm this is the name of the vascular tissue in the plants beside the products of photosynthesis the phlegm transports amino acids so amino acids and other substances from the leaves to the other parts of the plant carrying by phlegm these substances are especially delivered to the storage organ of the roots so from the leaves it carries to the storage organ of the roots okay these substances are delivered to the storage organ of the roots fruits and seeds to growing organs so the translocation of food and other substances take place in the sieve tubes with the help of adjacent companion cell both in upward and downward directions so unlike transport in xylem which can be largely explained by simple physical forces the translocation in phlegm is achieved by utilizing energy okay so material like glucose is transferred into phlegm tissue using energy from atp this increases the osmotic pressure of the tissue causing water to move into it okay means the photo photosynthesis from the leaves carrying uh, carried by the phlegm which are the vascular tissues reaches the storage organ of the roots and similarly the amino acids and other substances are also carried out by the phlegm okay so this pressure moves the material in the phlegm to tissues which have less pressure so unlike the water carrying process okay here the change in the pressure takes place and this is responsible for the food or other substances to carry from the leaves to the roots okay so this is all about student the transport of food and other substances i hope that you guys are pretty clear about this and in the next lecture student we will discuss about the excretion in human beings so stay tuned for the next lecture on excretion in human beings thank you happy learning